Hey guys, what is up? I Raspberry Kiwi here, and today I am back on Destiny for you guys. I know it's been, you know, well over a month since I posted a video, and here's why. So I'm going to go off on a little bit of a rant here um, about Bungie and their game Destiny. So obviously, I started my gaming channel on the game Destiny. Destiny, it was fantastic. It was a great game. I loved it. It was very fun. You know, Vault of Glass. Everything was great. Okay, then the Dark Below came out. The Dark Below, it was pretty cool. I liked it, everyone was excited for it, but the thing was, is it lacked content, okay? It had a couple of things in it that were great. Had one exotic weapon from the raid. Boohoo, you know? Um, it was... Uh, I mean... It stunk, okay? Everyone expected it to be some great thing, and from the beginning, I mean, I feel like they just didn't spend enough time on Destiny itself to be releasing these DLC, con you know, the downloadable contents. So Dark Below, it was okay. Beat it in a few days. That was it, okay? Hard Mode came out, finally. Then the Crux of Crota, so you can get your, you know, you can get your new weapon and all that, and it, it still wasn't enough. So Necrochasm, okay, cool. Now, everyone was expecting a raid from the House of Wolves, and when the House of Wolves came out, it was so hyped up, you know, it was a new level cap, there was new missions, it was going to be a raid. You know, all this stuff that was already pre-planned out had changed. So now, there's Prison of Elders. Prison of Elders, I mean, same old grind. It's the same old grind. You just beat it, you get a chest. Nobody even does it anymore unless they're trying to, you know, finish up their bounty. That's the only thing, is their bounty. That, well, the Elder Cipher, that, and then they only play it for the loot. They do it once a week on the 28th. They get the same loot as they would on the 34 or 35. It's stupid. The only difference is on 35, you know, you can actually complete your exotic bounty for Achilles Skolas. Oh, that and you can get the year one. Whoopee. Now, the actual content from the House of Wolves sucked. Okay? Trials of Osiris, it's only for the elite. They made it only for the elite. You can't even go into the lighthouse unless you are the elite. Me, myself, I played since it came out, still haven't even been to the lighthouse, still haven't gotten flawless. I've literally played it like three times in total, only got like four solid wins, and then, you know, didn't really play it after that because I kept failing. Okay, so, f you know, fine, that's, that's out of the way. But what really irritates me is that was Bungie's real last chance to save me as a customer, basically. I bought Destiny in hopes that this game would be amazing. Now, starting off, this game was great. It got boring after a while, but then DLC came out. So it was great for about a week or two weeks. Then it got boring again. Then it was kind of like the same old grind, you know, just level up your gear, get all the gear from that, you know. And I would say it maybe took a month time total to finish every little thing and get every single little item from the, you know, uh, the Dark Below. And now the House of Wolves is the same thing, except instead of a week, it took two days. Everyone got exotic helmet engrams and got every single new exotic helmet that there was that was released with the House of Wolves. So they bought those engrams and whatnot. They have everything now. It literally took them, I mean, a day and a half to reach level 34 on all three characters. It was that easy. It was plain and simple a waste for Bungie to just release something that stupid and to make so many different changes on it on so many different levels. No, I gotta admit, it's great. I love it. I still play Destiny. As you can see in here, I'm actually getting my thorn in this gameplay here. Um, but I'm just playing. I'm playing. It's fun. It's great. I still play Destiny here and there. But guys, the point is, is I haven't uploaded in over a month because Destiny's dry. I got bored of it. There's nothing to do unless you want to get smeared on or smear in the crucible and that's basically it i mean zer has nothing to sell anymore don't bother with him you know there's no new missions don't bother with those the only real thing to do now is patrol and this bounties don't do anything you can do your bounties whatnot you can level up your cryptarch but you know people now say oh there's no need for loot caves why are you doing loot caves that's a stupid idea we're a year into the game and you're still doing loot caves well, I'm sorry, but there's still people who actually bought the game two days ago who need to find ways of leveling up quickly. And that's one of the ways, is loots. Anyways, guys, that is my real main rant here. 
Now, I want to go ahead and talk about the Taken King. Now, the Taken King, I've decided to give Destiny one last shot. Bungie, you have it right here. If the Taken King sucks, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to come back to Destiny. That's the thing. Is I started out on Destiny, but I probably am going to end no more on Destiny. Now, Taken King, it's so hyped up. There's a huge level cap. They're changing so many things. The new way of actually leveling up your gear is going to be so different from what they from you know from what they say, from what it looks like. There's going to be, you know, new subclasses. There's going to be all this new stuff, a new raid. There's going to be new missions. There's going to be a whole lot of stuff. Now, hopefully that this is going to be better than the House of Wolves and Dark Below put together and expand Destiny into this new game that it was supposed to be in the beginning. Now, Hopefully that really does happen, guys. I want to say sorry that I have not posted in over a month. It's been about a month and a half now since an actual video came out. The last live stream, a month ago. Well, I did one a few days ago. It was not very good. I was actually losing more subscribers than I was gaining. I got dislikes. I got all this stuff in the first 15 minutes of it that I gave up. I said, you know what? I'm not going to live stream anymore because it's pointless. I need to bring you guys something that's going to get your guys' attention. Now, this is it, guys. I'm going to make a separate video in a little bit. It's going to be uploaded around the same time, maybe about an hour or two later after this video is. But look out for that video because that next video is going to be an idea that I have for you guys. Now, this idea, I'm hoping that it will carry through and everything like that. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is it for now. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like on it. That was my little rant. I'm sorry, but I'm angry at Bungie. If you guys are angry below, or if you guys are angry as well, comment below what you're angry about. Also, drop a like on the video if you are angry. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Go check me out on Facebook. I know I haven't posted on there, but I'm going to be posting on there. Go check me out on Twitter. I'm going to be doing the same thing. Also, guys, Twitch. I do live stream to Twitch just about every other night. So go check me out on Twitch. I will be live streaming probably about two hours per night. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.